Hi everybody, I'm Professor Lego and what are we doing today? We are doing a step next engineering video. And what does that mean? That means taking things apart, building things outside of the normal Legos that we have on our YouTube channel. So what are we going to take apart today? We are going to take apart this. Okay, this is, was my subwoofer. It was a really good subwoofer. It was made by Boston Acoustics. It worked really well. It's got this uh, tile top to it. It's really nice. Um, built well. It's got this little dial on the front to turn up the volume, if you will. Uh, it's got audio jacks on the back, as you can see there. Audio jacks on the back for uh, piping in the speaker. And then, here's what the problem is. We left it outside. When, we, when we're building this house, we left it outside in a storage unit. Well, what happened was, as you can see, the speaker, rubber, or styrofoam, whatever this is, whatever this, it's not really rubber, I don't know if it's rubber, uh, it deteriorated. So what happened is you get this muffle effect. Boom, 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 boom. Outside of the normal boom, 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 you get this boom, 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 and it was a terrible sound, so we replaced it. Now, the best thing is, is learn from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart, just for you guys. So as any engineer will tell you, the first thing they did as a child was start taking things apart, or building things with Legos. So in this channel, in this playlist, we're going to have a lot of builds and take aparts for the engineering people in mind. So I got my little Craftsman uh, speed screwdriver here. If you like that, please pick it up on, I think Amazon even sells it, but you can buy it at Sears. So what we're doing is we're going to take this speaker, the subwoofer out. Now, what do I got to do here? Uh, this is covered up, so it looks like we got to take these parts off. Okay, looks like I got to take a screwdriver to this part. This is kind of like a what's inside, but instead of cutting it open, we're disassembling it like, like an engineer would. Uh, I like those what's inside videos. I watch them a lot, but um, it doesn't give you an idea of how things are built very well without actually taking things apart. It's themselves. Now you could reuse these screws if you wanted to. Now let's try to open this up. So now we got this speaker here. There we go. Comes right off. The wires attached to it though. And I'm not gonna dis oh I'm not gonna disconnect the wires, but let's see what we got first. We got this little foam ring, little foam ring that was wedging between the wood and the speaker housing to kind of cushion it. So you can see here we got a red wire and a oh I can disconnect these black wire. And there we go. The speaker is off. The subwoofer is off. Now at this point in time, I could replace this if I wanted to. I could replace this and then we could um, have a new subwoofer. Instead, I kind of did an upgrade. I used the opportunity to do an upgrade. So I'm not going to spend the effort on replacing this particular subwoofer. So now, let's before we look at that, let's look at this. So we have these two wires. Okay, now it's empty. So, let's see if you can see this. Yep, you can. These are just cardboard tubes painted black on the inside and mounted to the front. What it's doing is it's got the same piece of plastic, right, like this on the inside, and then it's allowing, you know, there's an echo effect. I don't know if you're picking up this on the mic, but there's definitely an echo effect of what's inside this box. It's well-built box. It's It's got this 
chipboard, if you will. But then there's an outer um, kind of plastic layer on top of it to make it look like real good wood. There's a cord here that goes to the front where we have the controller. And we'll take that off a little bit later. Let's take a look at this. I think the best thing to do is start taking more parts of more parts apart so that we can get to the stuff a little easier and you can see it better. It's a lot of screws though. So I'm gonna speed through these screws and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Taking this part off. This cord I'm gonna have to cut. Ugh, glue. It's a tiered glue. Okay, that I have to cut. That goes to the controller. Okay. Let's take that off. Put this back aside. Got lots of screws so far. Okay. There's your power cord. Power cord goes into what I would say is an amplifier, but this looks like a transformer. No, that's definitely a transformer. Um, goes into this side where there's lots of glue parts together. I don't know, it looks like the wire got all spliced together and there's a fuse there of some sort. So then it goes into a transformer. Then from the transformer, it must step up or step down, I don't know. Um, then, it goes into this control panel, it looks like. Okay, little control panel. And then that outputs through this ribbon cable, this rainbow ribbon cable over to this control panel. Um, oh, okay. So, the if you're using these as inputs, it goes from there over to here then up to this control panel and inputs this way, or you could input the through this solid cable and it comes in through this glued portion, through this glued portion into the controller. So either way, it goes into this controller panel, then it will all go around and then it outputs back over, well, I guess it, oh, I'm sorry. So the control panel, feeds to this control panel, the power feeds to this control panel, and then it outputs the power over to the speaker. That's what's going on here. So, definitely cool. Um, I could take it apart a little further, but I think you get the point with the controller. And what it is, is when it gets power, there's a solenoid in here. A solenoid is a wrap coil of, of copper, and then it pushes a piston up and down. That's all it does. It shakes the piston up and down. That moves this woofer up and down and that makes sound. That's all it is. All it is is an electrical coil with a piston and then moving a diaphragm up and down. That's all it does. <clears throat> like any other speaker, this speaker technology has been around for a lot of years and it really hasn't improved much, honestly. Uh, it's the same type of technology. These are, this is made out of, of a type of cardboard, refined down to make it sure that it sounds really good. Uh, this little piece here is made out of plastic, and then this is foam or a certain kind of rubber that has deteriorated, but that's what it's really made of. So it takes these two electrical uh, signals and it just controls how much it goes up and down, how much that speaker goes up and down which then entails the design of this cone makes it go boom, boom, or tweet, tweet. And that is just based off of the design of the cone itself. So that's how it works. That's how a subwoofer works. It needs a controller, it needs a speaker, it needs a power source, it needs a housing. So if you wanted to build a speaker tomorrow, you could do this. I've seen YouTube videos where they make it out of just paper cups. Uh, speakers are not technically hard to build. It's just a matter of getting a copper coil around a cylinder and letting it vibrate in the same motion that it needs to based off of the signal that it's going to. 
So that's all. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming to watch this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you have a suggestion of things engineer or reverse engineer, let us know and we'll give it a try. Thanks everybody. Bye bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Thank you again, this is Professor Lego, and if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of this type of video, subscribe here. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and you can leave your builds, whatever you built, whether or not it was linked to a video of ours or not, please leave an image on one of our social medias. For any community submitted photos, we'll put them on to the end of these type of videos. You might see your picture on the end of one of these videos. Here at Step Next, we want to get to a thousand subscribers and to reward all the beginner subscribers, the thousand subscriber mark, we're going to offer up a large giveaway. And what are we going to give away? Booyah! This is my favorite Lego kit of all time. This is the Lego X-Wing kit. And we're going to have a giveaway where you can have a chance to win this X-Wing. So all you have to do is subscribe and tell your friends so they will subscribe as well. Once we hit a thousand, we will give this away. So please subscribe and we'll see you at a thousand.